Hello everybody, my name is Heartless Prince and welcome to Let's Play Under Dread. Now this game has just come out onto Steam, but I received an email from the creators, which is Big Sore Games. Uh, they generously sent me a key to this game, completely for free. No intention or anything, just uh, ho hopefully that I played it on my YouTube channel, but thank you very much for sending me the key and I will definitely do a video for you which is here right now. All I know is that it's an independent indie horror game, it's got puzzles, it's very story driven, so I'm going into this blind like any other horror game, so here we go. What the hell? Uh, it all happened a few years ago. My daughter and I were taking a carriage along an old abandoned road and, to our delight, had finally reached a settlement. We decided to spend the night here. There was a long road ahead of us. Okay. But we never imagined how long it would actually be. Oh. At night I was awakened by some noises. The room was still empty, windows closed and doors bolted shut. I didn't even understand at first that Lisa was simply gone. After searching for her and the inn proved unsuccessful, I tried asking the locals to see if anyone saw her, though to no avail. But what I did learn was that Lisa wasn't the first child to disappear. I've also learned about a detective who was searching for them, and even managed to return a few back home. Okay. I was told about a former local landlord's castle, where the detective was headed next. Gathering my courage, I went after him. Maybe he could help me in my search, or at least I could use some of the clues he may have found. I really like the illustration in this game as well. Okay, we're loading. I'm assuming we're going in to get my nib giblets nibbled by some huge ass monster that's gonna try and destroy me from this planet. <laughs> so I have no idea. Oh, ooh. oh, that's a very nice. Move your mouse to look around. I already know this. Okay. First, easy to walk, holding shift, maybe make you run. Try moving forward to the green arrows now. Okay, then. Will do. Good. Good. Okay. Big stone door must be here for a reason. The question is, how do I unlock it? If you experience difficulties with your current quest, you can use a hint. Okay. To ask for a hint, press F. Try doing it now. I don't need no hints. I've already done that. Alright, what's the hint then? Can I? Drawers, wardrobes, and other items can contain useful items closer to those who touch the drawer. Oh, right, okay. What is this? Many objects require having some sort of item to function. You can see them by pressing I in your inventory. Okay. The stone statue seems to be a key of sorts. Okay. Let's pick up an item, touch it, press the key from the drawer, and scroll. Alright, okay. Oh, I okay. Uh, all right, that's one key in. Red ribbon scrolls, useful notes which can give you a clue. They are lit by blue auras. Okay. To read your collected notes, press I and open your journal. I don't have a journal there. Oh, J. Sorry, not I. J. This stone door seems pretty suspicious. At first, I thought it was pretty decorative, but I'm pretty sure it can actually be open. And it leads somewhere, perhaps I should study it more closely. Okay. Ooh. Dead body! Blue ribbon scrolls contain a piece of journal which contains some insight. Okay. These. Ooh. Picked up a note. Uh, just as I thought, the four holes in the door are some sort of lock and the keys must be somewhere nearby. Okay, this this kind of takes a different toll uh, into like puzzles and whatnot. It's kind of, kind of a good old classic style. That's a very squeaky drawer. Okay, cannot. There we go. Alright. Okay, so I've got to find these keys then. Um. I found one already, which was easy enough. What's that? Oh, another one. Why, why was he sat on a candle? Okay. So that's two stone keys. So I've got to find the other two around here. Okay. Can I actually go elsewhere? The hell is that down there? What the fuck is that? Hi? The way ahead is blocked by a monster. Usually they will go away in time, but you can also drive them away. 
Press G to use a shield and drive it away. Okay, that that fucking skelly bob must have grabbed his bony balls while he screamed and ran away. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait, wait. How are you guys standing up like this? Okay, anything around here? Why, why would a shield drive away a monster? Another key? Surely it would have been able to, um, you know, step on me, eat me. Oh well, I'm not going to question the game's methods, let's just move forward. Uh, I've got one more key, so I just need the last one now. Oh, that way's blocked. Obviously that must come down at some point or something. Oh, the bottom right there, um, I've got some sack of wand and the shield. I'm assuming that shield is what I just drove away. Drove away the monster with and it needs to recharge. What? What? What was that? Okay. Alright, one more key. Where's the last key then? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Do I have limited sprint or something? I thought there were dildos on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So where's this last key? Oh no, this is the way I came, so I doubt it'll be back there. Hmm. Squeaky drawers. What? This, uh, this thing's happening and I'm just not seeing it. Okay, so th there must be another key down here or something. Oh, I have limited sprint juice as well. Yummy. Okay. What? Are you just doing noises to, like, try and scare me now? Uh, let me just check my journal. Uh, they're literally all I have. So what have I got in my inventory? Nothing. Okay, then. Uh, I'll admit, I do like the music in the background. It's, uh... Yeah, it's just doing noises now to make me jump. But it's not working. Nothing up there. So where's this last damn key? Am I just being stupid and missing something here? There's nothing in the closet. You haven't got anything for me, buddy, have you? No. Okay. I don't know what it is with this. Um, I know it's not lagging at all, but it feels like it is. I'm not sure why. It feels a bit strange. But it, it seems pretty nice so far. I mean, oh, that's my sprint bar at the bottom. Okay. Then. Fair enough. I should have noticed. I thought that was like a health bar or something. Where is the key? I know I'll need more keys to open it. Maybe it's something back here. Nope. Gets locked. Ah, I can't believe I'm stuck already. Oh! Oh well, there's nothing in there anyway. Now I don't feel so much like a douchebag. Where? Oh, is this? Ah, there we go. I was an idiot. Picked up a stone and there's something else left in there. Now right, let's open this damn thing up. The keys fit the door. is open. What door? Okay. From the nameless detective's notes. I had a hunch that something was wrong with this castle, but I never imagined the actual scale of thing going on here. A giant dungeon, a crypt filled with secrets, mysteries, and corpses. <laughs> Stone stairs first take you deep down, and then from platform to platform. Outside the rooms, I can't even see the dungeon ceiling. I'm pretty sure terrible things happen here, and that I'll find something. Some clue or hint there. Oh, really? Okay, we're back in here. It's very story-driven. I do like it. I do like the game so far. I mean, it's very simplistic. Uh, I just... Oh, that was just a tutorial level. Now I'm just on my own. Save complete. Oh, it, it auto saves at certain points. Okay, then. I passed through the door, but now the room looks like a simple dining hall, and there seems to be no doors or other exits down there. Why would anyone need to set up a dining hall deep on the ground and lock it away? There must be some sort of hidden switch and mechanism. Why? Why? How do you know that? 
something seems off. From time to time I hear unfamiliar sounds, but I can never dis... I don't know what that meant. They turn clearly. Uh, they seem to be coming from inside the walls. Really? So I've got to find this, um, another dead body. So I've got to find this mechanism that he somehow thinks is down here. Okay. Okay. So now we're in the thick of it then, I'm assuming, are we? Uh, that was just a tutorial trying to help me figure out what to do. Okay. Where, where could you be, mechanism? <laughs> Hi. Don't breathe in my ear, please. It's pretty rude. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Except for skulls falling through the floor. Things, when they move, seems to... Looks like it's stuttering. I don't know why. It's like the physics engine isn't... Um handling it very well. Were their eyes? Okay. Got dramatic music in my ears. Got eyes staring at me from across the room. Where is this mechanism? Uh... Oh, where's the mechanism? Is it a piece of this bread? Oh, I can't even jump, I've just realised. Right, I need a hint. How do I hint? Not that. How do I hint? Oh, there we go. Oh, right, okay then. The torch budgets. Hello? Hi. Alright, save complete already. Oh, great. I really want to be going down here. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit creepy now. A little bit creepy. Oh, hi. How are we doing today, sir? Are you okay? Okay. Mm. Oh, another dead body. Another dead body as well. Two of them. Oh, more journal notes. Okay. Alrighty, what have we got around here? I, I, I'm assuming I should read my journal notes. That would be a good start. Number three. Uh, number four. A lot of uh, cult literature here. Papers, notes, and recipes. The owner wasn't a simple paranoic. Uh, he was studying magic. Couldn't seem to be find out exactly what he was up to at the moment, though. Just another nutcase, it seems. <clears throat> Few other who, while alive, can keep secret uh, secrets keep, but some spread them being dead even. Okay, then. Oh, what's this? Nothing? Okay. Uh... I admit the game looks nice. The, ooh. Oh, can I have the axe? I'd like to take the axe, please. No. Okay, then. You keep her axe. Oh. Whoa, what happened then? Don't know what happened then. Did my mouth stop moving? Uh, da, 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 da. What's around this way, then? Another gargoyle. You can't do sounds every single time a skull falls from nowhere. Ugh. Ah. I need you to drink. Oh, hi, buddy! Can I have that? Thank you. This skull seems to open the bars on the bridge. I should just touch the statue. Alright, okay. Don't whisper in the darkness at me, please. Please. Oh, well, that was easy. Let me just read my note before I go any further here. 
It seems like the owner moved his studies to a new lab, dug up even deeper below. To access it, I'll have to cross the large bridge located a bit further into the dungeon. I bet that some sort of answers awaits me there. A few moments earlier, I noticed a statue standing next to a set of bars. It seems like the statue has acts as a mechanism to open them. A few minutes ago, I heard some footsteps in the distance. Pretty sure I did. Seems like I'm not here alone after all. Okay. What? Oh, I'm definitely not here alone. Oh, what the fuck? I can't believe that got me. I'm wondering what the fuck it was. Oh, pretty cool effect though. I'll give it that pretty cool effect. Can I have this dagger? I think I'm gonna need it. No, okay. Okay. What was that? I better hide myself. Those pillars should suck. Oh, how, how, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh. What am I hiding from? High in the middle of the screen means you can hide here. Close ones, no one can see you. There's something that's still there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, hi. I thought the claws die means no one could see me. Hmm. Okay. Right, let me hide. Hide, 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 hide. Thank you. That is actually a creepy sound to me. In these headphones, it is anyway. No one can see me this time. You got it? Who's coming over that way? You can't see me. Hi. You've got one eye. Well, you got several eyes, but in separate heads. Where are you going? What are you doing over there? Are you just gonna go away? Can I? Am, am I safe to um to go now? I'm assuming so. I'm just gonna leave. Door's locked. Great. He hasn't gone yet. Oh, he might have. He sound just cut out. Oh, another journal. Okay. In there. Another journal entry there as well. Another journal entry. Jesus Christ, dude, a lot of reading in this. Oh, what's that? Oh, I picked up another shield. Picked up another note. Shh. Damn squeaky drawers. Why can't I stand up and turn my lantern off? Okay, while while he's having a bit of a sing song and dance over there, I'm gonna read my notes. Uh the lady always loved the colour of green. For her sake, collect um for her sake, collected I've every For her sake co collected I've every leaf, rock, and grass green I could get. <laughs> oh boy! But burned in her still the jealousy, and so to steal all the colour green she left me as her last will she did. Woo! And in the tower she locked herself away until she done is the dead. Woo, okay. I'm just gonna leave that one with you guys, yeah? Okay. Oh, he's still there, is he? What do you want? Where are you going, buddy? 
Kinda needs to go down there, I've not got a key yet. Maybe I don't. Woo! I'm glad one of those 50,000 heads on him didn't see me. Okay. Uh, at least I can kinda sprint crouch. Where's the key? I need a key. You're gonna be down here, aren't you still? Oh, he's down there, I can move, I can move, I can move. Come on, come on. Oh, don't run out of sprint juice now! Okay, 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 another note. Nothing in there, except for lots of money. That lever? What did I just do? Oh, another lever, what the hell? Okay. Any more levers? What was that? Kind of heard something then. Oh, another lever. Cool. Thank you. Am I doing the right thing here? Why am I pushing all these levers? Why? The hell was that? Oh. Why am I pushing these levers? What's this do? Oh, buddy. Can I jump to my death? <laughs> shit, 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 shit. You can't see me. Alright, you see me. Okay, then. Hi, buddy! <laughs> I'm oh, I'm gonna leave this video here guys um I really really do appreciate um you guys send well um the creators of this game sending me this key, steam key for this really do appreciate it I'm glad I could do a video on the game for you uh, the game has a lot of potential uh, I'm not gonna say it's perfect uh, I hate to be a critic um, the game is very simple in some like ways of this game you make it way too easy giving um, the player that kind of clue where you just say oh I can't find this the, the lever here I'll push this button and there's the lever you know it, it's, it makes it kind of way too easy um, you need to kind of like tone it down with the amount of trying jump scares that you have in there I mean the one with the faces that came on the screen that did get me because I wasn't used to it I didn't know the game could do that but like random skull, skulls falling off the screen off the like ceiling and make it a big boom sound isn't scary unfortunately but the game has a lot of potential i mean if you guys want to see more of this game then please tell me in the comments below and please give the creators a lot of love because um they have made slender games in the past i think i did a little bit of research i think you've done slender games through phones and whatnot in the past but guys, I really do appreciate uh, you sending me the game for this. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Uh, the game is $6.99 on Steam. That's in pounds. I don't know what it will be in dollars, unfortunately. Um, but if you want to go check out the game itself, um, buy it on there. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the link for the guys who made this game. Uh, and their Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. But thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye! And not the microphone. Thank you! Oh shit! No! You're completely different than the other mongrel! Oh, hide up! You little puppet! Run!